There's currently two very similar add-ons for Create that add new engines and fuels, and I was curious to see how they stacked up against each other. The mods are the Factory Must Grow and Diesel Generators. In this video, I'll only be comparing features that they have in common, which are their engines, fuels, and the extraction and refinement of oil. If you're interested in a more in-depth explanation of these mods, I have videos for each where I cover the main features. I'll link these videos in the description. All right, so everything on the left is from diesel generators and everything on the right is from the factory must grow. Let's start by looking at their engines. So over here on the right side, I have all the engines from diesel generators. You'll notice that I'm all feeding them the same fuel. I'm feeding them the diesel, as the name of the mod implies. However, there are other fuels that these engines can use, though for this video, I'll only be using diesel. Over here, we've got the engines from the factory must grow, and they all need to use their own specific fuel. So there's gasoline, there's also diesel, which is not compatible with the diesel from diesel generators. There's kerosene, there's LPG, and there's also Creso. So both mods have a lot of fuel types. In diesel generators, it's more flexible. In the factory must grow, you need to use the specific engine that's related to the specific kind of fuel. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the engine outputs. Here we have the basic engine from diesel generators. You can also do things like add a silencer, which doesn't affect the output, but makes the engine less loud. We can also add a turbocharger to the engine, and that doesn't change the amount of stress units, but it does increase the RPM to 192. The turbochargers can only be added to the basic diesel engine. They can't be added to any of the other kinds of diesel engine. Okay, so let's look at the basic engines from the factory must grow. So this, I wouldn't even consider it a basic engine. This is below basic and it uses creosote, which is a low grade fuel. So this is basically just a waste product and this is an engine that can run on that. It only gives you a thousand stress units and it runs at 112 RPM. The engine of the factory must grow can also be controlled by redstone signal. So you have to apply a redstone signal in front of the engine to start and stop it. I can also place an analog lever to have more precise control. So you see, as I put it up to 6 out of 15, I'll only get 180 stress units. And if I crank it up to, say, 12, I'll have 720 and 72 RPM. Up next, we have the compact engine, and it's about identical in complexity to the basic diesel engines from diesel generators, though we only get 2,000 stress units out of it and 112 RPM. So that's the compact engine and the low-grade fuel engine. I wouldn't even consider them to be the standard engines. They're more like a sub-level engine that the mod gives you that don't give a lot of output. Um, they're just really basic and easy to use. The standard engines from the factory must grow are a bit more complex. You have to feed them fuel and expel the CO2. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So before we have a look at the standard engines from the factory must grow, let's have a quick look at the modular diesel engines. So the basic modular diesel engine works pretty much the same way as a standard diesel engine. But where this engine really shines is its ability to be stacked. So what does that mean? Well, that means we only need to fuel one and whatever we give to one, all of the engines are gonna get. So you see only this engine on the left is receiving fuel, but the one on the right is also running. So let's have a look at the standard engines from the factory must grow. The first one is the gasoline engine. So you see these engines, they all have a back and a front. The back is where carbon dioxide accumulates and it has to be pumped out to this exhaust block. So you see the exhaust is coming out of here and it's being pumped with this mechanical pump. The front is where the gasoline has to be received. So we've got a pump going in here and we're getting gasoline. So all of these engines have this concept of needing to receive fuel in the front and having to take out the carbon dioxide from the rear. So let's have a look at the output. So this one gives you 14,000 stress units and it runs at 225 RPM. Next, we have the LPG engine. So this is one of the fuels that you get. So long story short, when you refine oil in this mod, you get a whole bunch of fuels, whether you want them or not. So you might as well use them, but you need a certain kind of engine to use that fuel. So this one uses LPG. So it has the same setup as the gasoline engine. You extract carbon dioxide from the rear and you add fuel to the front. This one gives you the same 14,000 stress units and 225 RPM as you get from the gasoline engine. So up next, we have the turbine engine. And the only difference with this one is it uses kerosene, which is just another fuel. So you see we have the same setup here for the carbon dioxide and the fuel. We get the same amount of stress units and the same amount of speed. So another thing about engines in the factory must grow is that they can also receive coolant to run more efficiently. So here I'm giving cooling fluid as well as fuel to the front of the engine and I'm getting 16,000 stress units and 247 RPM. So the engine is running both faster and giving me higher stress units. So this is a whole other supply chain. This is a whole other consumable that's only giving you 2,000 more stress units. It's an option if you want to be more efficient, let's say, if you want to have one engine producing more stress units and speed. 
though the gains you get aren't very high. So that's just another option that you have in the Factory Must Grow. Now there's two more engines which are, they're a little bit different than the basic ones. I'm going to go over them. They are the Radial Engine and the Large Radial Engine. The Radial Engines work a little bit differently than the standard engines. You don't need to worry about getting rid of the CO2, you only need to worry about giving them fuel. So the small Radial Engine needs to run on gasoline, but the large one needs to run on kerosene. The standard Radial Engine gives us 12,000 stress units and 180 RPM whereas the large one gives us 16,000 stress units and also 180 RPM. Okay, so I saved the biggest engines for last. We have the diesel engine from the Factory Must Grow and the huge diesel engine from Create Diesel Generators. So here's a setup that I've made with six huge diesel engines. So here we have the huge diesel engine block. And what's really cool is we can place a shaft here and the huge diesel engines on both sides will connect to that shaft. Each huge diesel engine block provides 10,000 stress units. So I've put six of these together and we get about 60,000 stress units. So let's see how that compares to the diesel engine from the factory must grow. Well, first of all, these ones provide more stress with about 20,000 stress units per engine. They give us the same amount of speed with 128 RPM. So the main difference between this engine and the huge engine from Create Diesel Generators is the amount of pipes coming in and out of this thing. So you have the same sort of input pipes with the fuel as the diesel generators engine, but you also have to manage the air intakes and of course the CO2 expulsion. Also, for the diesel engine and the factory must grow, each shaft block can only be connected to one engine, unlike the huge engine in diesel generators, which can have multiple engines attached to one piece of shaft. So the way fuel works will be familiar to you by now, but now we have a new concept of air intakes. We actually have to take this air and pump it in. So that means we need to power these fans, these air intake blocks, and also pump that into the engine. So each engine requires one fan and one input. It's not modular. Each block requires all three of these input outputs. The last output, of course, is the carbon dioxide, which you have to extract just like all the other engines in the factory must grow. And of course, this engine requires diesel fuel. There's also an add-on for diesel engines called the diesel engine expansion. And what this does is it allows you to add lubrication oil and cooling fluid. And for doing this, we get an extra 4,000 stress units. It's not a lot of extra stress units, but if you have these fluids anyway, and you don't mind adding the extra piping, you might think it's worth it. So both create diesel generators and the factory must grow add their own fluid tanks. In diesel generators, it's called the oil barrel, and you can store fluids in it just like you would with a regular fluid tank. The mod also adds the portable fluid container, which you can fill up, and when you break it and put it into your inventory, you'll still have the liquid inside of it. The factory must grow adds the steel fluid tank, which behaves the same as a regular fluid tank from Create, except when you're making a distillation column, you'll need to use the steel fluid tank. Which brings us to our next part, the distillation. So in diesel generators, you simply place a distillation controller onto some fluid tanks and you pump in crude oil in the bottom and you'll get two products. You'll get diesel here in the middle and you'll get gasoline out on top. So it's a very simple process with one input and only two outputs. Compare that to the factory must grow where you have this distillation controller and distillation outputs, you get six different products. So here at the bottom, you get heavy oil, then you have diesel, then you have kerosene, nafta gasoline and finally lpg so in the factory must grow when you're distilling crude oil you get all these distillation products whether you want them or not so in this example i'm taking the lpg and i'm sending it to my lpg engines over here for everything else i'm just going to use creative fluid tanks and i'm burning them off so that's why in real life when you see an oil refinery you see a flame that's because they're burning off useless byproducts of course in real life you're not going to be burning off gasoline i just chose to do this for this example so there's just a few more things to look at. In Create Diesel Generators, we can also make plant-based fuels. So here I'm making ethanol by placing sugar and bone meal in this basin, and then I'm pumping it out into this fluid tank. We can also make plant oil by crushing a variety of seeds in a basin. So here I'm crushing plain old seeds and I'm getting plant oil. We can also get biodiesel by mixing the ethanol and the plant oil together in a basin. 
So all these fluids can be used as fuels in diesel generators with varying degrees of efficiency. So create diesel generators is a good option if you want to have renewable plant-based fuels. On the other hand, in Create the Factory Must Grow, we also have some sub-distillation products. So we can use the cast iron distillation. So in this example, we're taking naphtha and we're getting propylene and ethylene. So these are things that you can use to make plastic. There's another distillation process where we take heavy oil and we get as products lubrication oil and diesel. So there's actually two ways of getting diesel in this mod, one from refining crude oil and one from further refining the heavy oil. And finally, both mods have oil pumps for getting crude oil. You'll both have to build these in locations where oil is present. In diesel generators, you just have to be in the right chunk and you put a pipe all the way to bedrock. In the factory must grow, you have to actually find a special piece of bedrock that has an oil deposit in it and connect an industrial pipe to it. Both mods have ways of finding crude oil, which I detail in the individual videos for both of these mods. So there you have it. I've compared the features that diesel generators and the factory must grow have in common. Overall, create diesel generators is the simpler mod that's more focused on diesel generators and it has renewable fuels, which the factory must grow does not. The factory must grow is a larger mod overall. And though I haven't shown it in this video, there's also a whole part of the mod that focuses on decorative blocks. There's steel, there's plastic, there's ways of making these products that are very interesting. So the factory must grow is a larger mod it doesn't have renewable fuels if you want something more focused then maybe diesel generators is the way to go though i love both mods and as you can see you can run them both at the same time just keep in mind that things like crude oil and diesel fuel are not compatible between these mods they're both separate so if you're running both of these mods be sure not to mix them up if you want to learn more about these mods then check out these two videos thank you for watching